Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is an update of my PS4 collection, the biggest worldwide, I guess. So we are above 3200 games and yeah, I made some new installments here and we can go through the list of games and through the dozens of endless variants. So basically this will be an extra large PS4 collection video to see all these nice games in detail. So this will be a long video. The first one here, this is, um, these are special sleeves from Slovakia uh, where you can get these for triple A and first party games. They look very nice and yeah. But let's move on here with my limited game releases. So first off these are Play Asia releases. On the top Gekido is published by Red Art Games, but this was a bigger box I couldn't put into the shelf correctly. So here we have all these nice Play Asia games. We continue here, some even more, and here we have the PlayStation first party collection from the UK with all these pretty cool sleeves. Put them on the side, one second. And here we move ahead with some more Play Asia games. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Steelbook from Australia some even more games from PlayAsia. Release number 43 is Wife Quest, the latest one. Then we have some releases from the partner store of Strictly Limited games for in-in games, some cover variants, and then the regular Strictly Limited game releases here. Here it continues with the Darius games, some Guns and Gore, and finally Turrican. And now we came to release number 47. I'm still missing some because they weren't sent out yet. And here we go ahead with the limited run games collection, which is completely sealed. And so far complete, um, some nice cover variants, color variants of the DualShock 4. We have Firewatch, Darius Burst, here's another one, the Alpine Green Controller. Plague Road, some cover variants here as well. And some more limited run games from their first years. We have three different cover arts for 2064. Read only memories. Let's move on here. Some cover for the Bit Trip Saga, Momodora, Pixel Junk Monsters 2, Thumper, really nice game. And here we got a Rabi Ribi, Celeste, some Jack and Dexter games. And let's move on here with some move controllers on the front. Psychonauts, River City Girls. Jack X also with the San Diego Comic Con variant. Blasphemous, Stranger Things 3 the game. Knights and Bikes. And the newer ones here. Star Wars, Shantae games, Blaster Master Zero, Outer Wilds, some even more Star Wars games, Samurai Jack. So on here we got Panzer Dragoon Saga, Scott Pilgrim, 
Rumbo, five dates and so on. Here we got the latest ones where we have Haven or Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Quake, Axiom Verge 2. Here you can see some collector's editions and the Scott Pilgrim PAX East variant with a different cover art. And here we see the first part of my Asian English PS4 collection, which is currently complete. You cannot read every single spine because it's Japanese, but they are all playable in English. And some pretty cool releases here. There are dozens of Asian English games released on the PS4. Right, that's it. Let's move on with the first shelf of the retail games which were released here in Europe and in the US. So I put them together. First off my bigger boxes of color variants of DualShock 4 controllers and other collector's editions like the Fighting Legends from Spain, Infamous Second Son, The Dishonored 2, Head, Dragon Quest Heroes, Catherine, Little Nightmares and so on, Metal Gear Solid, Sekiro, Sealed, the newest one here of The Cruel King, The Great Hero, second one of their games released. Then we got some WWE 2K collector's editions here, even more, and the Jack and Dexter boxes from Limited Run Games. And let's move on with the first shelf here. I am go quickly through every box that you can see the games. Currently I'm missing about 50 retail releases I guess. I also collect some of or most of the steelbox like here for for um, Attack on Titan. The Attack on Titan series, yeah. Let's move on here with the AFL games from Australia with the green button on the front spine. We have a lot of simulator games here in Germany and in Europe. We got Akiba Speed Limited Edition, Alien Wake, Alien Isolation Steelbook, some games from America, American Ninja Warriors and Amer America's Greatest Game Shows. Double pack of Animal. Some variants for Ansem. Apex Legends. Arc. The Arc games here. A lot of Assassin's Creed. Every black flag is a different cover variant. Some nice steelbooks as well for Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Odyssey. The Atari Flashback Classics Volume 3 only released in the US. And we got some Dead Island games. Dead or Alive 6. I was too far. This was only oh already the letter D. Got the Atelier games. Axiom Verge. Back to the Future, which is quite expensive. Back for Blood, the different variants. Batman games. And the Battlefield. And we have Battlefield Hardline, Beholder, Ben 10 games, Bibi and Tina, four games already on the PS4, Bioshock, 
also the steelbook for Bioshock, the Ultimate Collection. Blind. The Bloodborne Collector's Edition and the Rare Steelbook on the left. Some Borderlands 3 cover variants and Steelbook. Boopsie Games. A lot of bus driver simulator games, Kabea, Call of Duty, and more Call of Duty here. There were a lot of different versions released these days. Nowadays there are only the standard ones. Captain Tsubasa with the steelbook and Chaos Child Chorus City Skyline. That was the first shelf. Let's move on here with the second one and the letter C. Got Cooking Mama Coffee Crisis. Really interesting indie game. Constructor and Constructor Plus. Control a lot of Crash Team Racing and Crash Bandicoot games. Double packs released. And a lot of the crew versions. Cricket 19 and 21, Crown Trick, big box release, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, and then we come to a lot of Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077, and all four Steelbook versions. They are different. Darius Burst X, the Dark Pictures games with the double packs and triple packs, Dark Souls. Dark Souls Trilogy, We've got Dark Siders here, Daymer and different Days Gone games. So there was a second print of Days Gone which doesn't have the only on PlayStation sign on, on the right. And this version comes with a more complete version on disc. Quite interesting to know. Got Dead Cells, Dead Island, what I already mentioned here. Before, got Death Stranding with the sleeve and some Deponia games. Destiny does have a lot of steelbooks. Got one steel case from Australia for the DLC. Deus Ex and Devil May Cry versions here. Come over to Diablo and the Dirt Rally and Dirt games. There are also a lot of versions released by Codemasters. Then we come to the Dishonored games, and I also got some nice steelbooks of the series a double pack, the Disney Classics collection here, Disney Infinity. There is a small mistake with the simulation games. Got Divinity, Original Sin, Doki Doki Literature Club. A lot of Doom on the PS4 and dozen of re-releases by Bethesda. Double packs wherever you, you go and you see. A lot of Dragon Quest Inquisitions, Dragon Ball games with steelbooks and Dragon Quest Heroes version, Dragon Quest Builders. And the DreamWork license movie games. Then we come to the end with Empire of the Sin, Everybody's Golf, We Are the Evil Within, Evolve with the Steel Case, and the F1 games with a lot of different steelbooks and first print, second print versions. Then we got to Fallout 4 with some nice steelbooks for the DLCs, G1 and G2 steelbook of Far Harbor and of Yuka World. Third shelf which come across with some double picks for Fallout 76 and or Fallout 4 and Skyrim. Then we got Fallout 76 and a lot of Far Cry 4 content. 
double pack with Far Cry Primal. We got double packs with Far Cry 5. Steelbooks, Far Cry New Dawn versions like the Super Bloom and Limited and the Steelbook Edition. Just one version of Far Cry 6 so far, the Gold Edition to play. Got Farpoint and a lot of FIFA games. FIFA, FIFA, FIFA. There we you go. Strangers of Paradise, Final Fantasy Legends Steelbook, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, 8 Re Remastered, Final Fantasy 10 X and 10 2 and a lot of Final Fantasy 14 versions, also the steelbooks. Some simulation games and a lot of fishing games here. Five Nights at Freddy's already got three games on the PS4. Flat Out 4, Football Tactics and Glory, For Honor does also have three different steelbooks. Fortnite Code in a box games. Friday the 13th. We got Gear Club 2, Guess Gasless Extreme, some obscure games from the mobile phone. Gear Shifters with the Collector's Edition. I really like this game. Ghost Giant and the Deluxe Edition of Ghost Giant. We got Ghost of Tsushima. Some Ghostbusters game, G.I. Joe, Operation Blackout, Standard and Gold Edition. Gianna Sisters, Giraffe and Annika. God Eater 3. Let's move on with the best game on the PS4, God of War. In my opinion. Got the expensive game Godzilla. Lot of Gran Turismo Sport versions. Gran Turismo 7. And some re-releases of Grand Theft Auto 5. Got Grit and Grit Legends, Grip, Guacamole, Guilty Gear games. The newest one, Guilty Gear Strife. Some handball games, Harvest Moon, Hasbro Family Fun Pack. And here we go with Hatsune Miku, US exclusive. Hell Waters, Hello Neighbors, Hexa Maze. Got a lot of Hitman games here in the Standard Gold and Deluxe Edition. Hollow Knight and a lot of Horizon Chase Turbo versions released in Asia, US, Europe and South America. Got Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Forbidden West. Horse Racing only released here in Germany I think. Hunt Down and Immortals Phoenix Rising with some different versions like the Limited and Gold, Inertial Rift, Infamous Second Sun, Injustice Games, at the end it's the Legendary Edition, The Inner World, Insurgency, It Takes Two, one of my favorite games, Jackbox Party Pack. And Jackbox Party Pack 7. There are six in between which wasn't released physical. Job Simulator and Jump Force. Just Cause 3 in dozens of editions. Here we got Just Cause 4. Some, t some versions of the game and the Just Dance series. And then we come to nice jump and runs like Car the Kangaroo. Got Case, a Donkey Kong Country clone, Kena, Kiwi, Kazan, first party title, Kingdom Hearts versions, or Kingdom Heart games on the PS4. Got Neck and Clonoa. And last row here with the farming simulator, Labyrinth Life. This was also Asian English exclusive. Lapis X Labyrinth, it's not so common here in Europe. The Larry Games, The Last Guardian with this pretty nice sleeve from the UK. Last of Us, also one of my favorite games 
on the PS4 and then we come to the hundreds of Lego games and also Lego special editions with a minifigure. We continue here in the fourth shelf with Lego Marvel Superheroes 1 and 2. Got Lego the movie video game. A lot of different Lego Star Wars Force Awakens versions. The newest one Skywalker Saga and some double packs with movies from Lego. Then we come over to the Let's Sing series. I'm still missing Let's Sing 11. So if someone from Spain watched this video and wants to support me, <laughs> I'm I'm really looking for Let's Sing 11 to close this gap here in my collection. Then I just got Let's Sing games from Germany. Move on with Levantante All-Stars from Spain and the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince from the US. See it? A lot of Life is Strange games, Little Big Planet, Little Nightmares. Got Little Town Hero, Lords of the Fallen in Endless Editions. Lovecraft Untold Stories. Mad Max game which is quite nice. And the Madden series. Some double packs from the US. Got a Mafia. I really like Mafia games. Man Eater. Some interesting like Maldita Castilla X from Spain. Got some of the Marvel games. Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy Steelbook. Marvel Avengers Steelbook here on the top. Marvel Spider-Man. Miles Morales. Mask ma ma Maker. Mass Effect games with two different steelbooks. Got the Mega Man series, the Legacy Collection 1 and 2, X Legacy Collection 1 and 2, and the Zero the X Legacy Collection and Mega Man 11. Mega Dimension games, Metal Gear Solid 5, the Metro games here. That's right, the Minecraft games with the steelbook. Mirror's Edge and Middle Earth games and then we got a lot of MLB The Show games and also the Steelbook versions. I'm still missing MLB The Show 22. We got Monster Boy, Monster Energy Supercross games, Monster Hunter World, important series for the PS4 and some Monster Jam games and Morhun. This is a German series which also was released in the US, surprisingly. Mortal Kombat, MotoGP, MX, Motor Racer series, Murdered Soul Suspect, and the MX games here MXGP and MX vs. ATV. Some My Universe games released on the PS4, the Naruto series and the Nesca Heat series, which get over to Nesca 21 Ignition. A lot of NBA 2K, NBA 2K22. We got Necromunda Hired Gun and the Need for Speed series with the Steelbooks. You can see some. Some more Need for Speed games, Neptunia, and some NHL, and Nino Kuni variants, Nia Automata variants, and Neo games, No Man's Sky. And let's move on with the last shelf here in this part Oli Oli games. The One Piece games here. Onrush was a pretty cool game. The Order 1886 was short but pretty cool. And yeah, Overwatch and Overcooked. And then we have this shelf here with the Jack and Dexter 
big boxes, collector's editions and some even more interesting ones like the Devil May Cry 5 collector's edition or the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, the Attack on Titan and Odin Sphere collector's edition. But let's move on with shelf number 5. We have some even more oh, outright games releases of Paw, Paw Patrol, Payday, Persona games, on and on. Pixar, Plants vs. Zombies here. We got Pocoyo Party from Spain, Poker Club, Pro Evolution Soccer, Project Cars, in some editions Psychonauts, Prototype, Puyo Puyo Tetris, Ravi Ribi, R Type Final Rage. Got Rainbow Billy from the US, Ratchet and Clang, RBI Baseball, Red Dead Redemption 2, one of my favorites. It's a lot of Resident Evil games here with some nice versions and steelbooks. Right series, Riders Republic. And let's move on here with Rock Band 4. Rustler on the front here, doesn't have any space at the moment. Rory McElroy, Rugby, a lot of Rugby games. Saints Row, Samurai Warriors and Santa's Xmas Adventure from, from the US. Schlag den Raab, the first and second game. Scribblenauts, Sekiro in two versions and a steelbook. Got Shante games. Shenmue, Silver Case and a lot of Sims versions, SingStar and Skylanders games, got Sleeping Dogs, Slime Rancher, Sniper Elite games, Snooker, Snoopy's World, SnowRunner, here we have some Sonic games, Song of the Deep is very interesting. Delisted from the PSN, South Park, and Spyro. Then let's move on with shelf number six. It's already Strange Regard, a lot of Star Wars, Steep, Street Fighter, Street, Streets of Rage. Then we got Summer and Mera, Super Meat Boy, Super Monkey Boy, The Search, Sword Art Online, Tales of Sirius, it's the latest one, Tales of Arise, a lot of Tekken games, Tekken 7 and dozens of versions, Tennis World Tour, Terraria, Tetris Effect, and Thief, Titanfall 2. A lot of Tom Clancy games and different variants and versions of it. Some nice steelbooks here and sli slip covers. Shadow of the Tomb Raider and the first two games, Tony Hawk. Then we got a lot of limited run cards and here we have Tour de France, Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, Trails of Cold Steel it's called, sorry, Transformers, Train Sim World. Yeah that's it for the sixth shelf so we are going around the corner and see the Doom helmet. We do see the 20th anniversary DualShock 4, the Doom Collector's Edition and the both of the Mortal Kombat Collector's Editions and go ahead of shelf number 7 
continuing with the letter U with a lot of uncharted versions and games Undertale, Until Dawn, Untitled Goose Game and here we have the letter V got Vampire, The Voice, The Walking Dead, Telltale Series and some other Walking Dead games Warhammer, Chaos Bane, Wasteland, Watch Dogs, a lot of different versions of Watch Dogs Legion, We Happy Few, some simulation game, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and Wipeout, and some variants. And we got this nice cover variant of the DualShock 4, and a lot of Wolfenstein games, and double packs. The Wonder Boy series, the Annapurna big box and the small box here. And then we move on with the World Ready Championship games and the WWE 2K games here and some nice steel box. And the last row with the Yakuza XCOM. And Yoka and Laylee. And the last one is the game The Dwarfs, called Die Zwerge in Germany. So it's on the last spot. And then we got some more Red Art games here, some limited releases. I'm going quickly through them. Rows and rows. Here on the back we have special reserve releases. Here we have two. The first press games and some from hard copy games, the cover variants of I am 8 bit and Nicholas and Special Reserve. Here we have some more signature editions, and some more Special Reserve. Here we have some more I am 8 bit the cover variants and the VR collection of Limited Run and some of their distribution titles. And last but not least Picks and Love games here on the right. And even more red art games. And last but not least we have some more of those distribution titles of Limited Run. Nicholas Games and then we continue with the Asian English PS4 releases. These are the last ones. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this huge video of my PS4 collection. Hope you subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye bye.